Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. I'm going to show you this time how to create a master document in Microsoft Word. A master document is a regular Word document that contains active links to multiple document files called sub-documents. So maybe you can appreciate that this is very handy if you were writing a book for example where you had a number of files as chapters but we want to uh, create one file which includes all the chapters that you had saved as previous files recently. When the links to the sub documents are expanded the master document appears to contain all the content so you can view the entire document as if it were a single document. Apart from the advantages of viewing all sub-documents in the master document, you can also perform the following tasks. You can do a single spell check for all the sub-documents. You can number pages consecutively across all the sub-documents. You can number captions and footnotes consecutively, generate a single index or a table of contents for all the sub-documents as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open up a brand new file here in Microsoft Word and then just to start things off with the master document I'm going to insert a cover page and the cover page I'll insert will be just a simple one we'll say the alphabet cover page and here I'll type a document title I'll be using uh, some files for a fictitious company called Visual Arts I don't particularly need a um, subtitle so I'm going to delete all of that. I don't want to put the date in so I'll delete that as well and I'll delete myself as the author at this stage. Now what I'm going to do is to go to the outline view and I click on view outline and in the outlining view and I just need to click below that particular graphic there I see that there is a button in the master document group called show document and when I click on show document I can insert other files and the other files in my case are in a folder called files for word document and the first thing, first one I'm going to put in is Visual Arts about Visual Arts and when I click open it will insert uh, the file but ask me a question first. The style heading one exists in both sub documents and the master document. Would you like to rename the style in the sub, sub uh, document? I'll say no. Whoops, I'll say my apologies, I'll say yes. And there is the sub document inserted into the master document. Now I'm going to uh, insert another one and I'll say this one is uh, graphic design. So we'll open up that one and it's put that sub document in as well. And there's just a third one I will insert called portfolio and I'll open up that one and we'll say yes yes again and now I can collapse the sub documents and we'll save the changes to the master document and we'll call that master documents master document visual arts master There we go and we'll save. So now I can collapse the sub documents and there they all are there. Now let's see the result of our insertions. So I'm going to go to view and go to print layout and there are my is my master document with the links to the um, sub documents. So now what I'm going to do is to go back to the outline view <coughs> and I'm going to click 
expand sub documents there they all are there now if I go into view print preview there are all of my files that have been joined so they might be chapters in a book they might be uh, many other files that you have um, that you have created as sub documents I'll just page down there there they are there they are and again so each of those files has now been created as sub documents for a master document and it brings in the graphics etc so that's how you can uh, perform that particular action guys it's not difficult um, just a matter of uh, a bit of practice uh, but very very handy where you have large documents that you want to um, join to a master document as sub documents thank you so much for watching